Hi Pisces, how are you? Welcome to your energy update. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Pisces, let's see what is coming in for you guys. What's coming in for you guys? Let's get an update. Let's get an update of what's coming in for you guys. What's happening? What's happening for Pisces? What's happening? What's happening for Pisces? Okay, a couple things. I feel there is, this is a side message. Okay, this is not going to be the actual reading. This is a side message, but there's two polar opposite scenarios. Okay, so energy comes down and then we choose how we deal with the energy. So I'm seeing that some of you Pisces are moving on. Uh, you know, the, the better way to handle this energy is to move on from a from a restlessness right from a lack of taking care of yourself lack of giving yourself time to rest and restore a lot of you Pisces are doing the work and you're moving away from that mentality which is going to help you further ascend now an another group of people that could be resisting okay when you feel restless and when you feel tired and you're not giving yourself the time to rest the first thing you do is you're out right you don't handle the situations you maybe run from them right and i only say that oops, i only say that because we got the ace of pentacles in the reverse in the wheel of fortune in the reverse the um knight of pentacles in the reverse and the two of wands in the reverse which is this is resistant energy right not putting in consistent effort not planning doing the sufficient planning or the decision making and therefore opportunities being missed <clears throat> okay and the pisces that are moving away from this energy, okay, are learning to be more consistent and, um, you know, really know what it takes to manifest your actual goal, right, which is that consistency. All right, let's see here. Let's get into an actual reading. That was a side message for some of you. I'm sure it kind of um, hits us all in, in different ways, in different places, and different levels, okay? Pisces, what's happening for Pisces? What is happening? What is happening for Pisces? Clear and concise messages. Clear and concise messages. What does Pisces need to hear, Spirit? What does Pisces need to hear? What does Pisces need to hear? What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? Pisces. Water sign of Pisces. Water sign of Pisces. Water sign of Pisces. First card out, Seven of Swords. Hope you guys can hear me okay. <clears throat> okay, this Wheel of Fortune came out again in the reverse as the outcome. But it's interesting because the visual that I'm seeing here is the Seven of Swords sneaky, sneaking off from... The page of wands okay a new exciting beginning a new way of looking at things or doing things so there's a little bit of resistance in this reading hence why the outcome is the wheel of fortune in the reverse okay pisces your conscious mind a little bit indecisive at a stalemate in regards to making some sort of decision i want to clarify what is this page of wands what's helping or hindering you because i feel like there's a new arising there's a new opportunity for a new exciting path but a lot of you because of, of the rapid things that are happening, right, we're rapidly ascending because there's so much and we want to protect ourselves and, and kind of hold back. But let's see, what is this page of wands? What is this page of wands? What's helping or hindering Pisces? What is this page of wands? What is this? What is this page of wands? What is this page of wands? What is this page of, oh, okay, that's like half the deck can't use that <laughs> what's this page of wands is exaggerating it's not half the deck yeah and so what spirit is emphasizing here is yes there is a new path there's a new beginning you could take you could take the path that's less 
than taken, less beaten. <laughs> okay, you could take the path, a different path. It's an, it's a new one. Maybe not many people have trotted this path before. Okay, it's exciting. It's something different. Yet, there's a lot of fears, okay? And maybe this energy for you of like self-sabotaging and, you know, you want something but then you don't commit to it and then you feel bad about yourself, okay, in a sense. And that's just you kind of running and self-deceiving yourself from actually obtaining the, th the things that are going to be beneficial for you because this this I'm seeing can be very beneficial for you. I'm I'm feeling it, right? There's no cards yet. We're going to do further clarification, but... I'm feeling it as this new spark of light. What is this page of wands? But then I'm seeing here, right? This is a position what's helping or hindering you. Now it's showing me all the ways that, like it's hindering you, right? By not taking that new spark. And that new spark or inspiration, that new thing, you know it's different for everyone, but you know what it's going to be, right? Have you been wanting to do something? Study something new, change careers, change uh, partners, whatever. Learn something new, okay? It's going to be different for all of us. But, Pisces, again, um, this energy of maybe not persevering through, right? Because of emotional imbalances. But let's see, subconscious mind, nine of wands. So subconsciously, you know, you're wounded, you're a little guarded. So this is why you're maybe guarded or pushing off some potential opportunities for yourself okay in the past i feel like you were gathering a lot of different perspective your next move justice let's see this is a balancing out could be dealing with the libra don't have to be justice maybe some clarity coming through i don't know let's see queen of pentacles in the reverse mm -hmm. this could be where your money and your situation kind of starts to show okay this is the results of this then kind of you know karma kind of comes to you like oh you know your practicality is affected your your finances could be affected you know also i'm seeing here that um you know, this could also be in regards to perspectives, right? A lot of you could hold a perspective about something. I'll give you an example, okay? This is just one example to try to make this fit in your life. But if you have parents or something like that, that you um, <clears throat> maybe, it's, it's like a dependent situation, okay? Where someone is dependent on you, you feel this bondage with this thing and you kind of want to break free and be independent and be like unorthodox and do your own thing okay but you kind of don't do it and you stay in that sorrow because they're your parents you know that's also you running away from the new that's available to you right because i feel like an emphasis is this is very independent energy a lot of you are retreating a lot of you going into hermit mode a lot of you you know, you might be thinking there's something wrong with you. You don't want to hang out. The energies, okay, but there's this subtle transformation that's happening, okay? And, and there's a reason why you, you want to go into this hermit mode, okay? And, there's a, and, and it's okay to step away from energies that no longer serve you, okay? So it's asking you to assess a lot of things, all right? So this doesn't necessarily have to be you're sneaking away from a person, but spot out ways in your thinking that are limiting you or holding you back in some way. <clears throat> Six of Cups also came back. So this could be maybe something from the past as well, maybe some sort of addiction or some sort of person that's toxic or that makes you know a habit of not putting practicality in or, or you know watering those seeds that then comes back up for you to clear out, right? That perspective. I'm gonna drink water here. How you see yourself, <clears throat> nine of cups. Well, this is nice. Maybe this could be, when I first saw this laid out, I was like, oh, I don't normally see this as smug, but how this person is on this card, it, I don't know why this reading. Maybe you're a little content, and maybe you need to push yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone at times, right? I know that you want to maintain the peace with everything that's happening, but spirit is also wanting you to step outside for growth. What is this nine of cups? 
what is this nine of cups i feel like i mean spirit is really like we're in a pressure cooker kind of it's kind of sort of feels we're sending at a rapid pace and a lot of things are being pushed out and february is one of those months right that is could feel like that yeah maybe you wanting to control and and keep control because you feel things in your surroundings a little chaotic you want to kind of conserve your energy and maybe maintain your peace in your environment ace of wands so in your environment just overall the energies could feel like there's a lack of energy lack of inspiration lack of motivation maybe there's someone in your surroundings that doesn't have motivation to come towards you right now what is this ace of wands in pisces environment oh right now the energies are dense let me tell you let me tell you ace of cups and the king of wands in the reverse all these cards in the reverse so i feel like Overall, the energies that a lot of people and everyone is experiencing as well as you, Pisces, and this is what we're working past, right, is people are not inspired right now. Like, our cup feels drained, okay? Something maybe happened, just working a lot, just the energies, and there's a need for you to refill your cup, right? This is a self-mastery of what the universe now is wanting to teach us in the more feminine way. We're shifting in vibration, okay, to a higher vibration, which is... learn. It's wanting you to learn self-mastery and fill your cup up and maintain it full, okay? So you can, despite the energies around you, so you can, you, you, this fire comes within, right? The energies sometimes do affect that, like the waves do and the wind does, you know, on a regular day if you're rollerblading or bike riding, but you also have the power to, to you know, be this king of wands but overall the energies in your environment are, are energies of not feeling like the leader right not having the passion or the inspiration or feeling a little emotionally drained at the time okay so it's not just you trust me trust me you could feel people are a little bit more edgy and all that good stuff your hopes and fears you're hoping for just the conflict to stop in the environment maybe you've noticed that um you know there's conflict with people that you know or whatnot or just tense situations so you're hoping for that to kind of come to a, a end and the outcome wheel of fortune in the reverse let's see why why is the wheel of fortune in the reverse why is the wheel of fortune in the reverse why is the wheel of fortune in the reverse like it this is an energy of like those things that we've been manifesting that we've been wanting to do now it's the time to like spirit is like okay now you have to do it now and we've been thinking about it and thinking about it and the energy has been building and now it's like if you don't do or or are in the present doing something that is like a childlike devotion or something of yours or that you're devoted to or having fun again in the present then it's gonna feel extra heavy all right what is this wheel of fortune in the reverse what is this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse for the outcome? What is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse for the outcome? Four of Pentacles and the Tower in the reverse. Yeah, so just be careful, Pisces, not to resist all this change that's happening. It could feel like a bit much, okay? It could feel like very overwhelming and you want to just conserve yourself and not open up to new things. And But, you know you're resisting there's this theme of this whole reading is like resistance and it's and again that's when the res it's been building up and now it's like let's see let's clarify the seven of swords i want to i want to clarify the seven of swords because this reading is very straightforward and clear and you know february's messages have been a little unsettling all right, what is the Seven of Swords? Let's get with this deck first. And open it. What is the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords at the base of Pisces reading? What is the Seven of Swords at the base of Pisces reading? What is the Seven of Swords here? What is the Seven of Swords base of Pisces reading? What is the Seven of Swords here? Five of Wands, Temperance, and the devil again for a second time yeah so i feel like there's conflict in your environment and you know there's fear and maybe you know there's a need for you to get balanced and bring balance but you're kind of running away from that new balance see because what happens is these new energies come down and these are higher frequencies so the higher frequencies kind of push out 
all of the darker or lower vibration. So when they push out, it comes up, right? And so it comes up as fear, um, you know, doubt, all these things coming up. And it causes, you know, a chaos or rifts in, in, in connections because they're no longer a vibration, right? And so there's need to bring balance in, but don't run away from this process. Really look internally and kind of see how some of this stuff needs to shift, okay? And how it's gonna be better for you. Don't resist this because resisting the universal energies are never gonna be in your favor, okay? Surrender doesn't mean giving up. So let's see here. Let's see, this, this reading is interesting. Let's see. What is the advice for Pisces? What is the advice for Pisces? What is the advice? What is the advice for Pisces in the situation, Spirit? What's the advice for Pisces? What's the advice? What is the advice for Pisces? 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 We have two. Polite declaration. You can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals. It's time for you to get out there. Claim what is yours and stay in your power. Okay? It's time for you to declare what's yours and maybe you're resisting on doing that, right? That thing that's getting that's now gotten so, so heavy, right? That's been building. You need to declare that yours. Do it. You know, that will bring that balance back into your life. Okay? And then we have surrender. Oh, I keep the surrender word. Surrounded by prosperity. Uh, your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality, that which exists outside the known and is beyond measure. Or it's not beyond measure. Known is beyond measure. Whatever it says, it's not beyond measure, right? That was bad. But I do feel like your attention is being drawn to new things. It's. I'll, I'll tell you a dream that I had. In my dreams, I'm starting to learn... Uh, that they're much more telling <laughs> than, than obviously, you know, I knew them to be before and I'm starting to really realize how in other dimensions and in certain prophecies and certain things and anyhow. So I had a dream about a space shuttle and normally when I have, I've had dreams about space shuttles. I've had a dream that I've been in a space shuttle which felt very realistic and seen two things. But anyhow, I've seen a, I've had dreams where I've seen a space shuttle, okay? And a space shuttle, spaceship, um, not a space shuttle, I'm sorry, a spaceship represents like higher, uh, higher knowledge, okay, in, in a dream dictionary, okay? But I had a recent dream, okay, I'm not really telling it that well, but I'm getting there. I had a recent dream that, you know, I was like in, in, in distress, right? Like I was like anxious and whatnot, and I was like almost felt like it was, I was locked in a room, and maybe that's how I felt in my life or, or in a certain circumstance. But then when I was able to get out, a spaceship just landed like abruptly, okay? Just out of nowhere and it pushed everyone back. Like the force of it kind of just pushed everyone back and, and tossed everyone back, okay? And what that told me is that there is gonna be some sort of awakening, some sort of like higher knowledge. Again, the Schumann's resonance was at 600, okay? Astronomically high. So there's this influx of very fast energy that we were not expecting. Um, I mean, we are in Aquarius age, but it's it's gonna it's gonna feel a lot. It's it's going to be very different, right? I feel like before we've gotten bits and taste of of energy, right? We have to acclimate to this stuff, and now it's gonna be like this burst, right? And a lot of you could be feeling that this burst of energy, but it's gonna be for ascension right you're gonna get closer than you've ever been so that's kind of what's happening here it's like this 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 boost of energy is coming down and um we're having to acclimate to it let's see i want to see what's pisces money just one money card here <laughs> completely on a different note but that dream of mine my, my front lobe is Hmm. Money for Pisces. <laughs> Words of abundance, Pisces. Yes, a lot of you 
could have been more negative lately than not okay or not negative but more pessimistic and that has a lot to do with neptune that was in your sign and also retrograde i think and mercury retrograde right so be very cautious of your words okay and what you put out into the universe release jealousy that doesn't necessarily have to mean that you're jealous but lack be careful with your words and in, in, in relation to lack right you could be feeling a certain type of way but also you can perpetuate that by saying words that you really don't mean and then you're drawing more of the energy you don't want so you know at least if you don't know where to begin just say every day you know what i'm going to say some affirmations in the morning and then i can assure you that that momentum is going to get started and you're already going to feel better about it right because your your brain kind of trick your brain into believing that and, and, if, and if you get it in a subconscious level right then that is what we really want to make that a subconscious change within us that rules the rest of our life all right pisces i'm gonna leave that there i'm gonna leave that there yeah yeah you know what pisces i am gonna do an extended i'm gonna do an extended on like your life purpose creativity because i feel a lot of us right we see that we're not motivated we see that we're not super inspired right now because the energies are dense so i want to see more of that like what's coming after this period um, because in one of the last readings, we got a lot of kings and queens, right? Or the emperor and three queens. So I feel like after this moment of like un being uninspired and going through this incession or leveling up or elevation and energy at the beginning of this year, that some really good stuff is going to come about it, right? You're going to hone that. You're not feeling inspired. So you're finding ways now you're in that manifestation. So I want to see what's coming in regards to your life purpose, your creativity, all this stuff that you're currently feeling resisting that you're going to do. Let's see how it's going to turn out for you guys. And, you know, what can you do more to hone it? And uh, obviously we'll get some money cards because life purpose and creativity are often linked to that. So we'll see. Link will be down below if you're interested for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope the audio was okay. Have a good day.